Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my let's play of... No, no, this ain't gonna work. I thought I'd found a method that I wouldn't uh, be sniffing while I was doing the uh, recording. But it just makes me sound very, very nasally because basically what it was was sniff toilet roll up my nose. If my nose didn't run, I wouldn't need to sniff. <laughs> There was, there was sound logic in that, and I didn't start a timer, and you guys may have realised you got a longer episode last time. And so I remembered to do it this time, and I found out why so many of my yo, big scary countries were um, allied with each other. Even though, like, completely wrong religion and everything like that. Oh, look. Uh, no, alliance. Oh. Okay, he was allied with Prussia, I thought. Anyway, uh, it's not why I was looking for that. This is what? Same dynasty. Sweden. Norway. France. Great Britain. Prussia. Remember when we had all of Scandinavia underneath our dynasty? And I sort of owned it and had vassals? Yeah, that's completely changed now. And that's why these guys are so tending towards, um, well, bedfellows. Purely because a uh, trade crisis, local, sorry, national trade income, national trade income. So lose a little bit of diplo power, which I do really want in exchange for that. That's fine. Now you, you're plus 200. You're tiny. You currently don't have a huge army, so let's just... Is influence? Yeah, annex. And I think... Oh, we'll have to improve relations over here. I think we're going to do the same with Saxony. Just eat them. And start looking for more, well, alliances, basically. Um, but let's see. Relations. Improve relations. Send off. <coughs> All that not to, uh, Sniffle, and then I sneeze. God's sake. Um, I've actually had a break in between the recording sessions. Still the same day. Um, I had my my tea, as I would call it, or dinner, if you're in America or the rest of the world. It's a bit of a, I believe, more of a northern colloquialism, uh, calling the meal between four and six tea. Uh, when do you arrive? 13th. Arrive on the 16th. No leader. Leader with a little bit of movement. 16th, 13th. Do I have a better maneuver leader? Uh... No, he is the best one. I can't believe I made a general and not a bloody conquistador. I'm an idiot. Um, just siege back Holland. I'm sure we can siege quicker than they can. We have more cannons. We have to have more cannons. Uh, natives rising, but we've got people there. Is two going to be enough? Yeah, it looks like it. Only real just. Um, our colony, Einhoven, is declared war on Hiron. They cite conquest. And it is rising up straight again. That's not brilliant. You, you're still having to put down your own sodding... Didn't I send a guy there to claim that? Okay. I'm sure I did, because I only went here as a, like a, a last resort, because I knew that they'd be taking this, but it's fine. Uh, Hiron... Oh, I have crap tons of troops. I could join the war myself and bring everyone else in, but... Can I offer to join war? No, no, not support independence. Although that's probably how we're going to finally get people free from France in the new world. Prussia, are you suddenly extremely friendly with me? A hundred... Oh, we're no longer rivals. How nice. Yeah, I'll take an alliance with you. Uh, curiosity, Ben Britain, have you reset your... Yes, you have. Uh, you have no diplomat. Okay. I have a diplomat. We cannot speak for Great Britain. We need to have a positive opinion of them. It is currently at minus 21. Are you kidding me? Great Britain, improve your opinion of me and we might become allies. Siege of Holland is over. And I let them siege something else. No. Oh, good. 
I'm going to come down here to Zealand and then skirt round. Hopefully, you'll come and help. You are. Um, integration is a slow process. Oh, so we've already eaten Arkan. <laughs> so then troops that are, I was like hoping would join are now mine anyway. Uh, so we're improving relations over here. It's going to take a lot though, even with the improved... Oh, Annex Vassal minus 30. Annex a member of Holy Roman Empire, another 25. So that's 55 that we lost. If we would have waited, we might actually have got round to that, but it's fine. Probably a good job I did that before. Yeah, because you like me less now. Uh, connect Prussian lands. Oh, this is because Austria took that. It's probably why you changed your rival to, you know, to deal with that, because, you know, Austria, for some reason, has lots of Prussian lands. So, and actually, that one for one, I'm still one under. Uh, France? Ally? No. Minus 200, no chance. <laughs> uh, Bavaria, you was previously my ally, weren't you? Bavaria, how many troops do you have? 30 odd thousand, it's... I think us free. I know you have a wrong religion. Are you still his vassal? A uh, personal union, buddy, yeah. But yeah, I think the three of us, as sort of central Germanish powers, should actually be quite good. Around marriage. Yeah, let's lock us into this. Like, we did check, and you had actually a lot less troops than I thought you would, and I've just forgotten that now. Uh, merge in. Split in half. 12 and 6. Need a lot more cannons. And a lot more cav. What's the supply whip going to be? It's 25 at maximum, isn't it? So... Whatever extension is dangerously high, I know. You just reminded me. Oh, I no longer control any of them provinces. Yes, so they're all fully sieged up. That they are. Let's negotiate with the rebels. Um, handle them. Local autonomy. Handle them. Gujarat nationalists. Basically gone there. Report risk is at 14%. Put the boot down. It's really not doing as much as I thought it would. I guess it's the other nationalism minimum. Wait, wait, 10% shouldn't be the minimum revolt risk. Okay, minimum revolt risk is actually 16. Local autonomy and harsh treatment is somehow taking minimum revolt risk. Oh, so minimum revolt isn't what's capping me. It's actual full-on normal revolt risk. Our extension's part of that. Negative stability. Um, okay, negative stability. What else? Religious unity. Not accepting culture. Nationalism plus 19. I think that ticks away at one a year, though. The way I need to get some troops over there. 12,000's a start. Okay, that's fine. You don't need the military axe anymore. Now your back is being part of France's beach. Just sail straight over there. I'm curious to how far you can make it. We can always dock you up you know, if need be. We've got places to go on the on, on route. Dutch nobles. Both meet up in Utrecht. We'll join you up again. An attack. Really? We took a river crossing? A shock advantage, but not a um, fire. And I think this late in the game, fire is going to be better. 
Uh, no longer transfer and trade. That's fine. Split in half again. One there. One there. I don't think we need to do that, really. The Swedes are acting as pirates in the Strait of Dover. British pretender rebels. Um... But except, I would need to get my a number of people down, though. Where is it that you tell me this? I always forget. You, my country. In Norway, I'm leading the vassalage. Bavaria, Royal Marriage Alliance, Brunswick, Military Access, Royal Marriage, Receiving Trade Party. You're not even actually an alliance anymore, I just need you to die and then we can get rid of Brunswick. Saxony leading vassalage. Yeah, I could add Britain into my alliance sort of sphere-y thing. It'd take a bit though. Hopefully um, the peasants will enforce a new ruler. Won't. I would have loved them to have been pretender rebels, but. I'm Sweden and Bohemia. I thought I had an alliance with Prussia. Didn't I just click that? Did I forget to click that? I want it anyway. Even if I am going over my diplo limit. Um, but let's see. Prussia would join. Can I have military access, please, Prussia? Uh, we don't have a truce with them anymore. No, we have no truces. Oh, no, we do have truces. Only with the... Yeah. That's for military access. Can't do it until the 12th of next month. Oh, I can't full annex them at the moment, though, can I? I don't have the extension. You should be fine. See, that'd be a protectorate. I don't want a protectorate. I'd want to release them as a... As a me, basically. Oh, Russia, you're stomping the Janiga. There we go to. You're going to place yourself there. How likely is Rush to join this war? Truce with the Hansa. And it saved, saying would destabilize Russia. That's because of truce with the Hansa. So how long do you have truce with the Hansa for? Can I find out how long other people have truces for? Um, hostile relations. This is just mine. Uh. For how long do you have truce with Russia? So it's 38,000 troops there. So we would be stationing our entire army over there to take it. Just keep trying to gain the 10 points. Don't call me in. Please say you can do this without me. Oh, you are. Really? Is Austria that weak? Are they winning a war against the Papal State of Milan and Sardinia? So you've taken on this opportunity to do that? Yeah, brilliant. 
20,000. 10, 5, and 5. Russia, while you're down here, could you... No! <laughs> They're the ones I made peace with! Diplomacy. Access. You have military access. Please come kill my rebels, Russia, while all your troops are down here. I would be eternally grateful. Don't know what you're fighting, but I wouldn't mind having you do something... Hopefully in my favour. Let's... Select one of the generals. No leader for you. Come back over to India. Put you on there. Wish you asked still my ally. Oh, you've been black flagged. Damn it. You're definitely not going to help then. So we might as well just... Engage. Come on. Run away. At least not a stack white. And we did five grand's worth of damage to their six. Um, yeah, you're going to have to come and pick more people up, aren't you? There's no more in Dutch Guyana. You know, that wealth of troops we thought we had over there. That's fine. What we shy in these armies? Two sets of six. Well, you need. Why are you guys so unbalanced? You were split in half from each other. Oh, for Christ's sake. Create them both as a protectorate. I don't want a deal with them. We'll look into doing something in this world later on. It's just not worthwhile. Do they count as relationships? They don't. Good. I just thought about that. Um, let's see then. So them I don't care about now. Given up on India. Gets rid of my overextension and stops all these sodding riots. And do they actually still pay money at all? Okay, EU4 has crashed. I cannot remember the last time I saved. Hopefully, regular auto saves. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen... I was four minutes left, so I'm going to call this an episode and I'll fix it for the next one. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to say goodbye. Goodbye.